The Czech Republic lies in the middle of Europe between Slovakia, Germany, Poland, and Austria. On the more than 79,000 square kilometers, there live more than 10 and a half million citizens. The Czech Republic was established on the 1st of January, 1993, through the division of Czechoslovakia into two separate states. Since May the 1st of 2004, the Czech Republic has been a member of the European Union. The total area of the agricultural land of the Czech Republic is 4,264,000 hectares, which represents about 54% of the total area of the country. Almost 450,000 hectares are used for feeding livestock. Permanent grasslands cover an area of over 1 million hectares. The Czech Republic breeds a total of 1,370,000 head of cattle. Annually, they produce nearly 2,900,000,000 liters of milk, and one Czech citizen consumes an average of 246 kilograms of milk per year in various dairy products. Farmers in the Czech Republic raise for milk two breeds of cattle, as well more Holstein, but also flag fee. This is true. They treat more than 360,000 dairy cows, breeds of cattle, 215,000 of which are Holstein cows, 130,000 are flag fee, and there are 15,000 of other breeds. In addition to dairy cattle, farmers also keep 250,000 cows with no commercial production of milk. In 2015, the average yield of over 8,500 liters per 305 days was achieved with an average content of fat of 3.85 and an average protein content of 3.4. The vast majority of cows are kept in new or upgraded stables, which contain the latest technology. Farmers in the Czech Republic produce about 2 billion and 900 million liters of milk per year. Good management is essential for good milk production and that leads to low cost milk output. Over 100,000 people currently operate in agricultural production, about 75% of which are employed in companies. The remaining 25% work in family businesses. Farmers are grouped into syndicates in order to ensure better conditions for negotiating the price and milk supplies to large dairy companies. The key factor in dairy cattle is, as previously stated, the control system i.e. it is important to maintain the standard procedures while using the latest information so that the individual outputs can be monitored and evaluated at regular intervals and subsequently corrections can be made. Each dairy farm stands on four legs, just like a table. These are the areas of feeding, reproduction, mastasis, and problems with legs. Who wants to brag calculates in liters. Who wants to make a profit calculates in crowns. In the Czech Republic, in farming, is uh, on the one hand private farmers, small farmers' companies, but also larger companies. That means cooperatives, joint stock companies, and limited liability companies. Just as in agricultural production, there is a representation of both small and large farms. Milk processing is carried out both by large processing plants as well as small dairies. These dairies make use of traditional practices and their products are very popular. For the marketing of such products, there are farmers markets. I would like to invite you to the heart of the Europe, 
to the Czech Republic, to the Prague for a EDF Congress 2017. The EDF Congress of 2017 will take place in Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic. Prague is a cultural center thanks to its rich history and is considered one of the most visited cities in Europe. It has many architectural monuments. The EDF Congress will be held on the premises of the university campus of the Czech Agricultural University, which is the center of agricultural education. The theme of the Congress is, what is key for efficient farm management? The EDF Congress of 2017 in Prague. What is key for efficient farm management?